So welcome back guys, it's Kids Coding Playground here. Today we'll be working on another Scratch tutorial. So we're going to make a game called Keep It Up. So what you do is you don't need your keyboard or mouse or anything like that. All you need is your hands or your head or something like that. So the ball will be bouncing around the screen and you're supposed to use your hands and head and the video sensing will show up and you, you move your hands and stuff like that to make the ball keep on bouncing. and Every hit you get uh, increases the score right here, and when the ball touches the ground, it's game over. So without further ado, let's get on to the demo. No face reveal yet, so I'll be wearing this devil mask for now. <laughs> okay, okay, let's, let's start. Okay, so basically you just use your hands or something like that, and then you just knock the ball up. As you can see, um, and when it touches the green, it's game over. Let's do one more. So yeah, that's basically the game. Now let's get on to the story. So now start a new project. Okay. Let me stop this one. So guys, we are going to delete the scratch cat for us, so let's delete it. And next, let's go get the video extension. Go into the extensions and import this one. So now you have the video. Okay. And next, we're going to import some sprites. So what I got was this thing. It's just the ground. I just drew a rectangle with green. That's basically what I did. Okay, so for the backdrops, I have this one white backdrop as the main one. So this is the one with the video. So we're going to just import another backdrop I got. So all I did was just make it blue and write game over with it and center the game over. Okay? So that's what I did for here. So you guys can do that on your own. And then we're going to get a soccer ball now. So I just search up soccer ball this way. So just take that. So you can see the soccer ball. Okay, now we can work on the code. So in the soccer ball, we can get our one green flag clicked. Let's zoom in. And we're going to get switch backdrop to the backdrop one first, which is the starting backdrop. We can rename this backdrop to start if you would like. Start. Okay. And next, in the soccer ball, after you switch to start, we're going to make it go to a random position. So let's go to pick random negative 200 to 200. 200. And we're going to set the Y to 100 in the beginning. Okay. And then after that, we're going to point in direction of 180. So let's do that. Of 180. So 180. And then we're going to make a new variable called score. For all sprites, score. So we're going to set the score to zero in the beginning. And then we're going to turn the video on. And it's already on right now, as you can see. So like, if you start a new project with the video on the previous one, it will automatically add it for you. And then we're going to set the video transparency to like 20%. 20, so then it's easier. Um, it's not completely, like, thing. So it's a little bit... Um, faded, as you can see, it's a little less. And then we're going to make it wait two seconds before starting. Wait two seconds. And after that, we're going to get a forever loop. When uh, move 10 steps. And if on edge, we want to bounce. Okay? So this is the ball. As you can see, let's play it. The ball start bouncing around after that. Okay, and next we're going to detect when you touch it or not, like the motion. Okay, now let's work on the motion of the thing. So like when it, when the motion is greater than 10, then the ball will start bouncing off your hand or your body parts. And then it's going to change the score by one every single time you touch it, change score by one. And then we're going to play the sound boing in the sound library. 
or if you just use the basketball bounce, this one's fine as well. Pick whatever sound you would like. And after that, we're going to do point and direction. Point and direction of the uh, video direction on Sprite, okay? And then we're going to wait 0 0.5 seconds. So every time I touch this, as you can see, it's going to just start playing that bounce sound. 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 So like every time the motion is greater than 10, it will play the bounce, as you can see. And then I'm going to get a one green flag clicked. So I'm going to, I guess I can like take this out for now because like, I'll put it back in later, okay? Because like it might be a little bit annoying for you guys. So next we're going to get the score. Like we can, no, like this is when you touch the ground, we will get this. So when green flag clicked, oh yeah, and we can wait 0 0.5 seconds right here, I forgot to do that. So then it's a little bit wait. It's really hard to breathe in this mask. <laughs> and then we're going to get an if then statement. So if, if, touching ground, touching ground, so touching the ground, which is the thing. And I forgot to mention, put a forever loop around this thing. Forever loop. And if touching ground, you can play, uh, we're going to get a sound called drum bass 2. That's the one I used for the previous one. Drum bass 2, this one. So if it's touching the ground, we'll play this sound. So start this. And we're going to turn the video off once that happens. Turn video off. Once it touches the ground, and we're going to switch the backdrop to game over, as you can see right here. That's the game over one, so we're going to do switch backdrop to game over. And we're going to stop all. So now let's test it out. So I'm going to put this back in. Save. Let's play. As you can see. Gonna be bouncing around, and as you see, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm, I'm gonna move out of the way. As you can see, when it touches the ground, it's game over. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed learning with us. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.